Welcome everybody to more Skyrim Remastered here on AP Games. If it's your first time here on the channel, we're so glad to have you. We put out daily gaming videos here on the channel, so if you like some gaming content, go ahead and hit subscribe. Alright, so last time we finished up one of the major quests in the uh, Thieves Guild storyline, and we finally got through that Dwemer dungeon that we've been trying to get through, and, well... There we kind of had a decision to make, and that decision was, are we going to finish out the things with the Thieves' Guild, or are we going to continue on our quest with the Dwemer Ruins? And I've decided, screw the Thieves' Guild. The, the quest has always been about getting through all the Dwemer Ruins, because we are a Dwemer looking for our last, our, our fallen brother, and trying to figure out what happened. And we've got ourselves through the uh, Dwemer quest line, or into the uh, Dwemer Ruins, there from the Thieves' Guild quest line. And so, it's time for us to move on. Hello, sir. Just a few more hours and I can crawl under some fur. That's right. You can go right to bed pretty soon, sir. You just dream about that warmth. So, what that means for us, then, is that there are two more locked uh, Dwemer ruins that we need to go through. One of them requires us to start the main quest line, and the next one start requires us to go through the Mage's Guild quest line, the College of Winterhold. So, I decided that basically we're going to start the... Uh, we're gonna start the main quest line because I think it's about time that we start getting some dragons up in, up in her, up in, up in this Skyrim business. And I also decided I was gonna kind of cut this content, uh, this road trip. And why is my, there we go. I was gonna say, my, uh, my scroll button, my little scroll button on my mouse is not, is acting up a little bit. I was gonna cut it, but a lot of you have said you know that you wanna, you wanna see every little bit of the content, and, and others of you have said you know. Um, that you don't, but for the majority of you have been basically been saying that you want to see everything. So here you go. I'm basically showing you everything. Um, other than like me storing a bunch of junk at my house in Markarth. Uh, so hopefully you're fine with that. The other thing is that I, it's been a little while since we've had a nice little road trip, and I feel like it's time for us to have a little road trip together. So here we are, road trip in, and uh, on our way. So real quick on on the map. So we started at the Hunting Brew Meadery because that's the closest point that I have marked off to Helgen, where we need to go to start off the quest line. Um, I realize I have not been to Riverwood at all. I've really been spending most of my time in the north part of Skyrim, um, and a little bit down here in the south as well. But nothing in this Helgen area. Um, I was going to say something else. Oh yeah, basically I'm just showing you that we need to go to Helgen, and that's where we're going to be road tripping. So there we are. That's the plan. I think that's what I was going to say. It's going to bother me. Alright, got a couple wolves. Oh, that's the other thing. Ooh, one-handed increase to 62. I was going to say, the other thing is that it has been a long time since we've been in uh, heavy armor. And that we've been, we're back in our, back in our regular attire. The attire of a, uh, of a, of a real Dwemer, right? So it's, it's good to be back in some heavy armor. Hello, Mr. Elk. So it's it's good to be back in that heavy armor attire. It's also good to have our wisp back out. We don't have to be sneaking around or anything. Uh, the other cool thing is that because we're not finishing out the Thieves Guild quest line, that means we get to keep the skeleton key, which I think is also in line with uh, the whole Dwemer perspective of things, uh, which is that the Dwemer, they don't really believe in the Aedra or the Daedra, that sort of thing. They are... They're pretty... Uh, I don't know if you would, I don't know if you would call them atheistic because they kind of believe like from my understanding of the Dwemer they kind of believe in like the it's like the gods of truth and logic or like truth and logic are their gods if that's if, so it's almost like they worship science if that makes any sense um and like the scientific process all that sort of thing so I don't know maybe I'm off on that but that's that's my understanding of their belief system so, um, anyways, because they don't really believe in the traditional religions, there's still some slaughterfish eggs, um, because they don't believe in, in that, they don't believe in the Aedra, the Daedra, that sort of thing, then it kind of makes sense that he would want to, uh, you know, kind of screw over the Aedra and the Daedra as much as they could. Alright, some more wolves. Where you at? Where you at? Come and get it. There it is. There they are. Got a little wisp friend here to light the way. Act as a nice little handy torch. There we 
are. Steal a couple souls, get ourselves some wolf pelts. Nice. So from a, uh, a lore perspective, I guess, or like a roleplay perspective, basically, we said, we've never really cared about the Thieves' Guild. We've only ever cared about getting into that, uh, getting into that final ruins. Irking, Irking Thams? Irking Thand? Something like that. And as soon as we got in there and discovered that there was nothing really to learn about our brethren, other than that there was a big Falmer statue down there, which seems kind of strange. So I want to discover this location. All right, there we go. It seems kind of strange that there would be a, 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 a Falmer statue in a Dwemer ruin. Because they didn't exactly treat the, the Falmer the best. Um, but basically, once we got in there, we got through, we, we discovered maybe there was some, you know, there wasn't a whole lot there for us. Guardian stones. Do I even have a stone activated? I'm not sure I do. Your knowledge, yeah. magic, smithing. Oh, okay. I've got the lover stone on. Yeah. All right. So I do. I've had the lover stone on for for a long time. Um. What was I saying? Oh yeah. So basically, go through the dungeon, got through, found out that there wasn't a whole lot there, and so we said, well, I've got everything I wanted to wanted from this adventure, and so it's time for me to move on. And screw you guys, I'm not really a part of Thieves Guild. So, there we are. Alright, uh, we want to go left. Uh, left, yeah, left. Ooh. It's like a nice little, nice little moonlit night. And I think we want to go right here. I believe that this is the way to the cave. So, uh, playing, for those of you who are new, maybe. Uh, playing the Live Another Life mod, which basically allows you to start in a different area of with it. So not going through the traditional start. So in order to start the whole Dragon's quest line, you have to come back to Helgen um, through some, some modded quests that they've put into the game. So that's what we're doing now. So we're going to start off the, uh, the main quest line here. And this should be the cave. Helgen Keep, yeah. So we should be able to just kind of walk right up through the bottom of this cave. There we go. Completed. Unbound. And we should be able to... Hey! Came back. Cough, are you mad? There's no there's no voice acting for this. You need to warn Riverwood. Quit messing around and get down there. What? No, you don't understand. Optional, bring him a healing potion. Healing potion. Once I'm back on my feet, we can go together and warn them so long as that dragon still isn't out there. Talk to him. Alright, let's give him a healing potion. Come on. Yes, I have one right here. So let's give him minor healing. All right, that's better. All right, let's get out of here, basically he says. He's back on his feet, he's got some fabulous hair, and the bear that was here is not here. Presumably he killed it. So there we are, that's basically how it, that's kind of how it goes. You can either go up into Helgen proper and like discover the quest there, or you can just come in this little cave, come talk to Hadvar, and then bada bing bada boom, you've started the main quest line. So, uh, I believe that in order to do the thing that we're trying to do, Looks like he's gone for good this time. There we go. But I don't think we should stick around to see if he comes back. You got some fancy armor there, Hadvar. The closest town from here is Riverwood. My uncle's the blacksmith there. I'm sure he'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Why is it best that we split up? Anyways, so there we are. We've got the uh, main quest line going. Let's go ahead and head to Riverwood. So we need to get ourselves to the point where we discover that we're dragonborn. Once that happens, we should be able to uh, oh. we should be able to get attacked by some of the cultists Fain from Solstheim, which will start the uh, quest line for us to get into the Solstheim Dwemer ruins. Ain't every day we get visitors and. Hadvar said he could help them out. He's a friend. 
I'd be glad to help a friend of Hadvar. Uh, dragon attack, Helgen. What? A dragon? Hadvar and I escaped together. Helgen? That explains what I saw earlier. Flying down the valley from the south. I was hoping I was wrong about what I thought it was. It was a dragon. A dragon? Here in Skyrim? What's this world coming to? First the war, now dragons. Trouble loves company, they say. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. Defense. We need to get word ah. to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Give me supplies. Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. I'm just going to take everything. Help here. yourself to whatever you need. Within reason. There we go. I'll just take some free stuff mm -hmm. from you. There we go. All right. So we now need to go to Whiterun. So we'll go to the stables. And yeah, so basically we need to find out that we are the Dragonborn. Uh, I, that's what I was going to say. From a lore perspective, uh, from a roleplay perspective, basically we are... Uh, how do I say it? The thieves, we got some information from the Thieves Guild saying, hey, there might, there's been some strange activity near Helgen lately. Uh, we need someone to, you know, there's been reports of dragons. We don't believe them, blah, blah, blah. And basically something about Hel the Helgen area what we were told or we found out was suspicious and so we decided to go and explore the Helgen area real quick and see what was going on because if there's uh there are dragons on the loose we'll get up in first person here for this hey heard they're reforming a dawn guard Vampire hunters or something. Can let me in? Fort near Riften. Yes. Consider joining up myself. What? What? I can't get in. Uh. Okay. Let's uh. Let's give it an hour. Maybe it's a bit early for the guard. Or maybe something just bugged out. Hold there he is. He had to drop out of the sky before we could talk to him. Official business only. Uh, I have news about the dragon. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on there you. There we go. Improve my speech a little bit. Little by little. There we go. Alright. Onward and upward. To Jarl Bargruff. Nice foggy day. Very Skyrim esque. To the market. I'm here to buy food, Nazim. I suppose you don't need to worry about that. Do, do, do. Excuse me, sir. Embrace the word of my It's Dita. a shame, isn't it? He who is both man and divine. Man and divine. Arr. Street preaching at its finest. Crazy, like. Crazy lighting in here. Just looks a little strange. Anyways. So yeah, we'll be kicking off the main quest line. We'll get some dragons up in our uh, in our let's play. Get ourselves going on that. What would you have me do then? Nothing. You want some girl? I'll take you. What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgraf is not receiving visitors. I have news from Helgen. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on, then. The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Okay. Guess we can be civil, then. So, oh. you were at Helgen. Jarl Bogruff. You saw this dragon That hair, though. Eyes? Man. That is, a, that is a manly mane right there. By Ismir, he's like a, was right. He's like a lion. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If the Jarl dragon is lurking in the mountains. That is a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should not. I like the stitching on your clothes. I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my, my people. people. 
Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. Thank you, Lion King. Take this as a small token of my esteem. Small token? There is another thing you could do. Oh, I forgot you. about Bleak Falls Barrow. Suitable for someone oh, no. Own. We're going to have to do Bleak Falls Barrow. <laughs> Come. Let's go find Faringar. All right. My court would Hold on. Hold on. You just gave me glacial heavy armor. He's been looking into a matter related wow. to these dragons and wow, wait. rumors. I mean, it's way worse just because it hasn't been upgraded, but man, that looks pretty cool. Uh, neat. Theory of armor. All right. There we go. Walking with ya. Do, 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 do. Faringar, I think I've found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Arl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch huh, something still there. for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Ah, perfect. Uh, what does this have to do with dragons? Ah, no mere brute mercenary, but a thinker. Perhaps even a scholar? You have no See, idea. When the stories of dragons began to circulate, many dismissed them as mere fantasies, rumors, impossibilities. One sure mark of a fool is to dismiss anything that falls outside his experience as being impossible. I find that to be a but very compelling to statement, actually. For information about dragons. Where had they gone all those years ago? Like... And where were they coming from? Like, that's on the level of, like... I don't know. I, what do you um, need to do? Learned of a Anyways, certain like, stone tablet said to be I don't know, I just find that, that statement. Uh, the a mark of a fool is to consider to anything of outside of his realm of experience as being impossible. Go to I find Falls that to be a very compelling this statement. Tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Alright, anything you can tell me? An old tomb built by the ancient Nords, perhaps dating back to the Dragon War itself. Mm. Ah, maybe you just want to know how to get there. It's near Riverwood, a miserable little village a few miles south of here. Hey, I'm sure some nice locals can point you in the right direction once you get there. How do you know it's there? Well, you must preserve some professional secrets, mustn't we? I have my sources. Reliable sources. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, da, da. Eh, whatever. You know, this is a priority now. now. You should go Anything we can use to fight this dragon or dragons, we need it quickly, before it's too late. Of course, Yarl Valgroof. You seem to have found me an able assistant. I'm sure he will prove most useful. Hey, he's got confidence in my abilities. That's nice. What a kind young man you are. Other than calling Riverwood miserable, Riverwood is a nice place. I like it. All right. Ah. He's Mir himself. All right. So we're back in Riverwood. Let's, uh, let's see. I think we've got enough time where we can make the trek up to, uh, make the trek up there. So doing some adventuring, doing some road tripping here this episode. And we'll get up to Bleak Falls Barrow. And once we get outside of it, then we'll, uh, call it an episode. But until then, a little more road tripping with you guys. Let's uh, get my axe out. My soul stealing axe, because there's a couple wolves coming up here. Put a mud crab down. Mud crab! Mm. Oh, um. Butterfly. So, I have recently had a question about some of my mods. So, for those of you who don't know, uh, all of my mods are in, are linked in the description of each video that I have. So you can see a list of all the mods I'm using for each playthrough. So you've got those there. Uh, the other thing is that I do not... I'm, I'm playing on PC. 
So I do not use the Steam Workshop for mods. I use Skyrim Nexus. I use Skyrim Nexus because I find it much more flexible. I find there's a lot more options. There's more customization when it comes to the mods. And uh, just more like a, a more granular level of control, which I really like. Um, it's, ooh, 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 okay. Give it a good block. <laughs> He's running away. All right. See you, buddy. Boom. Right to the face. Oh, yeah. And we got the Action Jackson reload right there. Nice. I like that. All right. We'll take the troll fat. We'll take the uh, door of bolt back. And yeah, that's not really worth it. This is like a, a fancy reload that we had going there. All right. Get into sneak position. Sorry. Let me let me say that again. That was a little too southern. Get into sneak position. Not sneak. Get in into snake position. I guess I have lived in the south for ten years. How did... He should be dead. He's definitely right on the money. There it is. And his buddy's coming along for the ride. <laughs> nice. I don't even know where I got him. But I got him. All right. So I'm not really super interested in going into that tower. If they come out, I'll kill him. But let's be real. I've got more than enough loot. Uh, I'm sitting pretty on some. Ooh. Okay. Um, take my bolt back. And there we go. Alright. Get ourselves to Riverwood. I'm sitting at like 12,000 gold or something like that. It's enough gold where I'm pretty comfortable. I don't really need anything else. I've got a house. I've got fully upgraded crafting skill. You can always enchant stuff to sell. So. Again, not super concerned about it. Alright. It's rifle time. Ah, I missed him. Just over his head. Over his head again. All right, the the uh, aiming reticle here is a little off for the uh, a little off for the right. No. Okay. All right. Let's uh, keep sneak, sneak, sneaking our way up here and. Grab a few snow berries along the way. There we go. Got him. Been found, huh? He's carrying that sword one-handed. That's kind of... I think that's a new animation, actually. That might be a modded animation. That was pretty cool. Alright, one more. Oh, there you are. Ducking and diving and dodging. Oh, too high. Okay. There we go. Got it. Give me that nice explosion as well. All right. That should be everybody here on the outside. Thug. Uh, we'll take your leather armor and your, uh, your ranger bracers too, I guess. Okay. Boop. So, yeah. That's uh, that's just a brief overview of modding. Of what I, what I prefer for modding. So, everybody, you know, everybody has their own preferences. And I can certainly understand wanting, you know, if you're if you're new to modding, <clears throat> you know, take it slow, take it simple, that sort of thing. Get it right. Uh, but for me, who's been, you know, I've been doing it for a couple years, so I, I prefer to just have a little bit more control. Anyways, time for us to say au revoir for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have anything to say, and hopefully you'll join us again soon here next time on the channel as we continue on our modded let's play through all the Dwemer ruins here on additional pylons games.